Hello everybody. Uh, so, this is just a quick little video I kind of wanted to make. I don't know exactly how long it's going to be because I don't know how long I'm going to take uh, to do this. But, um, I kind of just wanted to make a video kind of like go over all of like the rares and stuff that I've gotten from, uh, from Crown Zenith. Because I've opened up a lot of Elite Trainer boxes and you, I've opened them up on the channel. So you've watched me open them. Um, so, pretty much all of them, I think. So, um, I kind of wanted to like make a video to kind of like recap of like all the different things they've got. So I have made this i have sleeved all of the cards this is how many unique rares from the set i have um 50 i have 58 unique rares now i'm gonna let's see i'm going to i'm gonna i'm gonna separate these basically by their like what like what like exactly what kind of rares they are such as like um, V's, V stars, like V maxes, like V's, like V, like V fours, things like that. Um, like they will go into like individual stacks, and I, I will like review and like kind of like review them and go over them. Um, do not expect me to remember exactly what videos and how long ago I got them. So just just know that, I, and I do have to say I have got a lot of like the alt cards, like the alternate art cards. Like, this is, um, I mean, this is how big the stack is of, like, the, you, of, like, the alt cards, like, the, the alternate arts of, like, the regular Pokemon. Like, I've gotten a lot. And then here's the full art trainers. Sit them over here. You can't see them. They're off camera. Um, here are the Radiance, which in Crown of Zenith, there are only three. And here are like the the rare energies. So we'll kind of just start with these two, these in the front because they're the they're the closest and also like the, they're the smallest. So first off, I've gotten two of the rare energies. They are like they are textured and they have the the way you can tell the difference between one of these energies. But uh, from a hollow energy, just a regular hollow energy, is the hollow energy will not have the rare down here like it will not have the rare symbol it'll not have like this down here and it'll not be textured it'll be hollow but it will not have a texture um you guys i don't know if you guys can see but there's a, a texture to the card it's in a sleeve so i can't really feel it but it's there's a texture to the card and i have the fire typing and i have the steel typing i got the steel one first and then i got the fire which apparently the steel one is 159 out of 159 and then the fire one apparently is 153 out of 159 so I don't, and I don't know if there's like, I guess there's one card of these, like each for each typing, I guess. Like there is a, like there's a rare hollow, like textured card of each energy, of a, each energy type, which apparently they, they've taken fairy out of the game, out of the card game or something. Like, first off, why did they do that? Second off, when? Okay, like, can I just like move this for a second because like the, the plate like the mat I have on my desk here is uh not sitting correctly so okay I don't know if that's even, I don't know if it's better for the camera it, it's just it's better for my OCD <laughs> okay all right so to continue here are the three radiant cards from the set and I've gotten all three the first one let's see I think well, I think charge bug was first I think I believe I got charge bug first and I have three of these radiant charge bugs um but i picked one of like all of my so any i do have like um of these cards i do have like um like what is the word duplicates i have duplicates of like a lot of these cards um or some i guess but i picked uh i just picked one of like each of the rares so i have a radiant charge bug three of these really but this is one of them then I pulled the Radiant Eternatus, which for a while I only had the one, and then I had the one on the online. But th I'm talking specific uh, specifically for like the um, the physical cards. I had a Radiant Eternatus, and I recently pulled another one. And uh, I recently pulled another. So I believe it was like I pulled another one, and then I think do I have two or three of these physically? I believe it was like. I believe is I pulled one of these on camera, 
um, talked about how I had two because I had one on the online, and then I found a Crown Zenith pack that I didn't open because I'm stupid. I didn't count the cards and I didn't open it on camera because I was already, I already finished the recording and I was recording the online stuff. So I just went ahead and opened it and I got a rating to turn it So I now have two of these physically and I have one of these on the online. So I have three in total, but two physically, um, but still cool, cool radiance. And then the rating Charizard, which I believe is probably the rarest of the three radiance. I only have this one, and this is my only Radiant Charizard. This is my only really Radiant Charizard. This is my only Shiny Charizard. This is the only Shiny Charizard I have. And it's from Crown Zenith, and it's not super difficult to get. It's not easy, but it's not super difficult. But it is a really nice card. I love the, like, I love the red and the black. I love how much it pops on there. I, 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 I believe people were saying, like, this card was, like, already in other sets. But, like, I just love the card on this. I, I love the art. I love the art on this card. So it's, and I pulled it. I believe it was like, I started a video. I believe it was like, I had like two trading boxes or something like that. I, and I stopped one video, went and started the next video and I got it on the first pack of that video. I don't remember which video it was from. It's probably titled shiny Charizard or radiant Charizard or first pack or something like that. Like, cause it was like for a while, I, the cards I was searching for was radiant Charizard and the Cynthia card, and then the, uh, like, the full art for... Well, I think at the time, I kind of was like, you know, I don't really care for the Friends and Sinnoh full art, which I wasn't really sure if there was one. I didn't take a look, but then I looked in the book. And I was like, oh, yeah, there is one. But And for a while, I was like, you know, I'm still going to look for the Cynthia's Ambition. But then, I was like, you know what? Cynthia's on the Friends and Sinnoh. I'm looking for that one. And I, that was, and I also was, like, doing the collection of, like, the non-full art. So I was like, you know what? If I'm doing a collection of the non-full art, I'm just going to look for the full art too, along with Cynthia's Ambition. Looking for those together, and it was those two, plus the Radiant Charizard, and I got Radiant Charizard. So, now it's just those two, and um, the video hasn't come out yet. But, um, I did pull a card that I have been searching for. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but let me say this. Now, I do believe that, well, yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter, because... Technically, because I actually I'm recording this now before I've uploaded like three more videos I have to upload, but I'm probably gonna upload this after all those. So actually, never mind. By the time I upload this, it's pro there the videos are probably out. So, but the videos are probably already out by the time I've uploaded this. Um, but I mean, if you're watching this in an order where you didn't see those videos yet, I actually pulled Cynthia's ambition on the online video on the online set. Of course it was on the online. I, 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 com I sort of complained, I was like happy complained, I guess, when I recorded that video. It's it's going to be the latest video. It's probably gonna be the video re literally right before this one, so. But anyway, let, I guess let's move on. Um, I guess we'll move on to the Vs, the V Full Arts. So I think this one is probably my favorite of my V Full Arts. The Zacian, which there is a Zamazenta, but I haven't pulled it. But I think this, I think I've seen that Zamazenta, and I think I like the Zacian more. This is such a cool card. Like this Zacian card is so cool. Like the like the archway, like and the, just the art style is so cool. I love this art. Like, is it the same artist? Who? Okay. I was trying to see if I could find. If it, let's see. Let me see if I can move this. See the right there. That's the artist. I was trying to see. What other cards is their art? Because this is such cool art. I love the art on this card. It's so cool. And, and Z I like Zacian more than Zamazenta, so. But it's so cool. And then, oh, this one. The Hisuian Samurai V. This one is, is also really cool. Um, I pulled the other art, I believe, and I believe it was in the... I believe I pulled it on the online version. But I, um, but I have this art physically. I don't, think, I don't think I've pulled this art on the online, but I pulled the other one, the other like alt art for this one. Like there's more than one art for Sam, Hisuian Samurai V, but I pulled this one and this one is really cool. Like th this is such a nice art. Um, and then I pulled the Drapion V. The, I mean, like it's, it's clay Drapion with Scorpy. Like it, it's all right. It's, it's, I mean, it's a Drapion V, but, and I pulled this one on the online before I pulled it uh, physically, but it's still a cool card. But the, oh, the Hoopa. This is one of the more recent ones I pulled and. This, this is a really nice hoopa. I do love this hoopa. It is so nice to look at. And it's also hoopa just like, it looks like it's just in its little like 
its chamber or wherever it's like hiding out and it is just playing with its gold and stuff. Is that a po that is a Pokeball in there. See the Pokeball? It is that like is that its Pokeball or is it just like did it find a Pokeball and it's hoarding it? This is so nice. Alright. So that's all the V's. Now, um so let's uh the V's like or that's the V fours. The V cards, there's quite a bit of them. So let's move to the V maxes because there's not as much. Um, so the Hatterene V, I talked about like why I like this card of why I think like there's like some kind of story going on and it, it, it's such a nice card too. And, and Hatterene, uh, I really do like Hatterene. Um, and it's, I think it's mainly due to the fact that it is a fairy psychic type and well, Gardevoir is my favorite Pokemon. So, um, but I mean, I, I mostly like Hatterene for other reasons in terms of like it, I just like the fa I like the fairy the fairy psychic type and psychic type psychic is my favorite type so and Hatterene is I think I like Hat I just like Hatterene so plus it plus it's got a Gigantamax form so that's cool and then it like um it, it's it's I think I think I like the Pokemon okay there's and there's certain people that don't really like Hatterene and then there's others who like they dislike it because of the um the other reasons um. My channel is not, like, my channel, uh, for the most part, my channel is viewed by 18 or over, um, mainly because I said it that way, but, I mean, I still kind of keep, I don't really keep my channel family-friendly, exactly, I mean, I, that's what I kind of do, but it's, like, because I don't really curse on my channel, uh, and I don't really, I mean, sometimes I'll say, I don't really, I mean, I don't really say dirty jokes, but I've, like, told myself I probably, like, should, like, I should do, like, I should say more adult things, just to actually make my channel more adult, because it was, like, I don't want it for kids. Like, even though I'm opening up Pokemon cards, I don't want it for kids, okay? Like, this channel is supposed to be for, like, since I'm, since my channel has pretty much become a Pokemon card channel at this point, um, I want it to be for people who, like, enjoy Pokemon cards or just enjoy opening up Pokemon or, or just who enjoy Pokemon, Pokemon cards, or just opening up cards in general. Like, those, like, that are, that fan base. That's what I want my, like, channel to pretty much be, I guess. But that, it's such a nice card. And then this Zara Aura, which was actually one of the more earlier cards I pulled. So I have this one where, like, it's, like, uh, it's a big Zara Aura with all the small little electric Pokemon on them. Like, it, it's so nice. It's, not, it's nice to look at. And then I have this one. This Zara Aura VMAX with the rainbow. And, like, it's, a, it's the, the other art of Zara Aura VMAX. I have both of them. I believe there's only two, and I have both. Like, it, it's so nice. And I think I like this one more. Just because it shows more of Zero Aura's body and stuff. This one, it's like it's kind of more unique, I think, because it's like it doesn't really show Zero Aura's like full body and stuff like that. But it's like you have this one, and it's, I, I like this one. Plus, I think it's like I don't know. I, I just like the colors more, I think. And then I have the Rickways of Emax, which there is more than one art for this, but I only have this one art. I only have this one art of Rickways of Emax, uh, but there's there is more than one, and I actually have I have two of this same art. <laughs> I pulled two Rayquaza's V Max, and they're the, same, they're the same art, but there's supposed to be those two different arts for it. So, but it is no nice. I mean, people love Rayquaza. Like, imagine if imagine if this was a shiny. Like, imagine if this was a shiny Rayquaza. Like, actually, if I um, if I kind of put it in the shadows a little bit, and if you kind of like think shiny Rayquaza, you can kind of see shiny Rayquaza. Uh, kind of. Like, can you if you guys like look at the shadow like that? Can you can you guys kind of see shiny Rayquaza? But it's like when you put it in the light, you're like, oh yeah, it's a normal Rayquaza. But it's still, still imagine if this was shiny. It'd be so, it would be so cool. All right, so that's my V Maxes. Get these over here. I, I guess I'll just go to the Vs now. There's quite a bit of them. Kind of get them out of the way. So I have the Reg, I have the Regigigas V. Now, um, there are three Regigigas like rare cards. There is Regigigas V, and there are two Regigigas V Stars. I haven't gone through my V Stars, but I'm just gonna say now, I have all three Regigigas. I have pulled Regigigas V and both arts of Regigigas V Star. So I have the Regigigas. See me see now because V's are not as like V's are pretty common and they're not as like cool as like some of the other ones. Um, I'm kind of gonna I'm kind of and there's also a lot, so I'm gonna kind of speed through these. So I have the Simi Seer. I have a Zacian. It's like nice Zacian, and I got the Z I got I have a Zacian V, which comes which actually evolves from Zacian V. Uh, I have a Zacian V full art, which I believe. Well, I think, no, I think full art's basically basic, but then I have, <clears throat> I mean, what, so I don't think it counts for Zacian, because I believe V's are just, the V's are also basic, yeah, B, V's are basic cards, so never mind, but <clears throat> this will come into play later with, like, um, with, uh, Rigid Gigas. So the, I got the Zacian, and I got Zamazetta, I have both, Zamazetta and Zacian V's. 
I have the little Eevee. The Eevee's cute. Cute little Eevee. I have, now I got the Reggie, now, Reggie Drago and Reggie Lucky. These are promo cards. The only the way to get these, I don't know if there's any other way besides uh, basically pulling their, like basically getting the Reggie Dragon Reggie Lucky boxes, where there's four packs, I believe, four packs of crowns in, in each box, and they have a promo, a big card and a small card of Reggie Dragon Reggie Lucky. I believe it's like, um, <clears throat> and I believe if you pull, if you grab one box, I think it has like the. I believe it has the other one. Like, I think the Reggie Drago has a Reggie Alecki, I think. And then the Reggie Alecki has a Reggie Drago, I think. I pulled both. Um, oh, you can see it says Sword and Shield uh, 281 down there instead of, like, the specifically for Crown Zenith. Because, but, like, these are from the Crown Zenith, like, set. Because they're from, like, these, that's the card that's in them is Crown Zenith. All four should be Crown Zenith, so. Um, but I have both Reggie Drago and Reggie Alecki because I picked up both boxes. So I have both of those. Um, I have the Stoutland V, which is pretty easy to pull. I have the Hatterene V, and that goes with Hatterene VMAX, because you have to have the Hatterene V to have the Hatterene VMAX um, playing the card game. I don't really play the card game. I collect the, I collect the cards, but I don't really play the game. But, I mean, I have the I have the stuff and the knowledge, really, just to get into the game. I just never got into the game. Then I have the Greedent V. It's a Greedent. I mean, I, it's one, I actually pulled it more, kind of more recently, but it's like I haven't. Uh, and then the Glaceon V coming out one of more one of the more recent videos I have. Um, I said in the video, but it's like the little ice thing right there. It makes it look like it has a butthole. It's like, why they get Glaceon a butthole? I mean, I like I love Glaceon. Glaceon's one of my favorite evolutions. It's definitely in my um, I definitely say it's in my top five. I think probably maybe even in my top three really. Um, I think really I think Glaceon is my number two. I think I think Glaceon is my number two favorite evolution. Um, because, just because Psychic is my favorite type, I'd probably put, uh, I'd probably put, uh, Espeon as number one. And then, but I think Glaceon goes at number two, because I, I love Glaceon, I like Glaceon, I really like it. Um, and then I pulled the, I got the Kyogre V. So I assume this is probably a, more, uh, a little bit more rare to pull out of, like, from the other Vs, since it's, well, a Kyogre, it's a legendary, so. I assume it's a little bit harder to pull, but I got, I got it. And it, it's a nice part. And then I pulled the, the Charizard V in some of the more, in one of the more recent, uh, in one of the more recent videos, there is a v, there is a Charizard V Star. I haven't pulled that one. I just have the V, but it, it's a it's a nice card. It's a nice Charizard. People like Charizard. So, um, and then I think this is my last V. I got Rotom, little Rotom. Um, so that's all my Vs. Yep, that is all my V cards. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we'll move on to the V Stars now. So here is one of the arts of Reggie Gigas V Star. This I believe was the first the first art I pulled was Reggie Gigas, uh, Lily pulling like a whole continent. Like, so that is so, like, you can see the trees on there. There's a, there's like a mountain in the back. It, like, it looks like it's carrying the center region, I think. And I think that's what it looks like. It looks like it's carrying the center region. Cause it looks like, cause I think, like, it looks like that's Mount, uh, Mount Cornet back there. Like that is like, it, it's, it's a cool art too. That is one of the more cooler arts. And then this Reggie Gigas V star. I have both. I have both arts. I definitely like the other one more, and I think the other one is actually the, is actually more rare. The other one I think is rarer to pull than this one. So, and they both evolve from Regigigas V, which I have. This one. If you play this one, you can then turn it into Regigigas V Star, either this one or the other. Which do they, are their moves different? No, they have the exact same moves. Like they have, they have it's it's the exact same card, just different arts. But like they have this, but they have all the same stats. Um, also, this one is nice. Like, you see, like the like the the shine on this one. It's so much better than this one, like because it, it's uh, like they have a, like the other one's just cooler, but it's the same. And then the Lucario V Star. This one comes in all of the elite. Like, if you get a Crown Zenith Elite Trainer box, you're guaranteed a Luca one of these Lucario V Star because it's a promo. It comes. It's you can't pull this from this packs. You only get it from the Elite Trainer boxes. So, and I have a lot of these. This is one of i have like two three maybe even four sitting in a binder and then i have this that is nine lucario v stars in this one um like it's a it's like one of the binder pages these are nine of them and i'm thinking of uh, framing this because first off i mean lucario is cool also my mom's favorite pokemon is lucario um i have a lot of them and I still have more that I can even give away. Um, and uh, 
yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to do with them. I mean, they take up space in the binder. So I'm thinking frame it because, hey, I mean, it's a, it's a cool card. It's a promo, but it's a cool card. And uh, like Lucario's cool, it's a cool card and it frees up space and whatever. Um, I think it, and I think it's cool. And also, but it's like, I don't, I mean, like maybe I can even like, if, if crown, apparently if, it's not super difficult to get these because you just buy a crown, a crown you know, tra elite trainer box and then you get them. It's just, I mean, right now with Amazon, they're uh, being a little stupid and people are stealing cards from it. So not ordering off Amazon for a little while. Um, although there's not really much I can do about crowns because I can't really buy elite trainer boxes like at like Walmart or Target or anything like that. Um, I have I would have to buy more Reggie Dragon and Reggie Lucky and I don't get as many packs. So I'd have to buy like three or four of them. Like I mean, really, I'd have to I if I I just buy three because there's four at each. So I get like twelve. So I get like that's close to the same amount of packs as one elite trainer box. Um, though it's buying three of them is still more expensive than buying. Uh, I think, although really, I think I can buy four and it's like a little over a hundred dollars. So, cause last time I bought, I think I bought like three of them last time. And, um, well I had, a. it was less than a hundred dollars. So I could buy four of them and they'd be, which I did have to look on those boxes because two of like some of the, one of the ones I had was missing a pack. They had, it's supposed to be four, but there was only three. So I put that one back and luckily one of them had four. So I picked that one instead of the other one. So all three of them had uh, four packs of them, so cool. Anyway, let's move off Lucario, and I have this Glaceon V Star, which I actually got from one of the more recent uh, pack openings. And this is it's such this is such a nice art, and I love Glaceon. It's it's so nice. The art is so nice in this card. Like look, I just love this. This this is a this is a nice art. Okay, I love this art. And then I also have the Leafeon V Star. I got both the like ult, the like the alt arts of these, like the different arts. Uh, because this is, I think this is like a more rare art of like some of the, the Glaceon Leafeons. Cause I, and I also, um, which I think you'll probably see uh, in a minute, but I, I have, I, um, anyway, I pulled this one before the Glaceon. I mean, this one's nice, but I, I definitely like the Glaceon more. So, but I also have this Le Leafeon V-Star, the other art, which I think this is the, the less rare art to pull. Uh, but it's, it's nice, but obviously this is a better Leafeon art. This one's just better, but I have this one. And it's still cool. Like, it, it's nice. And then I have the Simeon Seer V-Star. I have a few of these. Like, I have, like, two or three of these. Like, it's... It's it, it's whatever. And then I have the Simeon Seer V. So if I have ever one I like... Um... I like the Simeon Seer V. So if I ever get into the card game, I could do Simeon Seer V. And then turn it to Simeon Seer V-Star. Though I'm pretty sure that, like, once you play Simeon Seer V, you have to wait a turn in order to get Simeon Seer V. So either way, but I have that. Um, and then this one. This is the V-Star that pretty much everyone is looking for from this set. And when I looked at like what people were paying, like paying for this or like selling this for, it was like $200, like between a hundred and $200 basically. Like some, I think some went at least even a little over 200, but the, uh, that was rare. Uh, it's mostly like 200, like this is a pretty like expensive card. So it's like the fact that I have this and I actually pulled this, like I think either on like the first, like, I think I pulled this on the first time opening up Crown Zenith. So to do that, that is so nice. Like that, and it's such a nice card. Apparently there's like a version, which I don't know if this is a Japanese only thing or if this happened or if there's like, if it's just not in the book and there's another card where it's of Charizard's perspective. Um, and it's, be, it's basically a Charizard V-Star. Um, so I don't know if there's like a, if that's a Japanese only thing from the Japanese basically set of this, or I don't know, but I, I've only, I think I've only seen it in Japanese, but if, but if there is an English version, like, can someone like, please tell me if there is, or if there's only, if it's only a Japanese version, cause I, I think it's only a, a Japanese thing. I think it's only a Japanese version where there's a Charizard, uh, where there's basically a Charizard version of this, where it's Charizard's perspective. And then Zamazenta V-Star. Um, which comes from the Zamazenta V. So since I have the Zamazenta V star, I can do Zamazenta and I have Zamazenta V. So I have that. And back to Regigigas. So that's all my V stars, which I, the V stars are, are, are really nice. They're really nice arts, really cool. Now I have these, which I mean, these are like, I do like these arts, but I, I think I like the V stars more. So now just look at this. Look how many of these like alt arts I have. I have so many. Uh, but there, but there is a lot of these in Crown Zia. There's a lot. So I have the Comfey, got the Mill Tank with all of its food, 
having a great old time. That I'd like definitely eat like a lot of that. It de it looks delicious. Um, then I have the Thievel, which I did like the Thievel art. It's it's a nice little nice art for Thievel. It's nice. I have the tart twig. Nice little tart twig there. Look at the tart twig. So happy. I got Lunatone with the Bulbeat Illumise. I have the Soul Rock version with Lunatone with um, Soul Rock with um, with Bulbeat and Illumise. I got the Soul Rock one. Riolu. I like Riolu. Nice little Riolu there. Manaphy, one of the mythicals, mythical like arts of this from Crown Zenith. That's nice. Nice little Manaphy there. Swablu flying through the air. Nice little Swablu. Poochiana. Pretty, I think it's pretty easy to get. I have quite a few of these. The barrel. I have lots of the barrels. I don't know how much people are selling this for, but I feel like probably you'd sell this for like, this is like two bucks probably just because of the fact that it apparently, I don't know if it's just a me thing, but apparently it's pretty easy to get. I have so many bit barrels. I have so many of these, but and I really should sell like some for like a couple bucks or so because I have so many. I got the Paris, the little Paris, Paris. I got Beedoof. I I also have quite a few Beedoofs. I have three Paris, I believe, and I have like I have, I have quite a few Beedoofs. Diancy, I only have one. Another mythical. I like this Diancy art. I like this art. Uh, I looked and saw people weren't selling it for very much, and I was like, I don't know why, because I the art looks so nice. I love the art in this Diancy. I don't know why people aren't selling it for more. The Mag Mortar, I don't know if you were selling this maybe for more than Diancy, but like, it's a cool Mag Mortar. I don't know if there's an Electivire, like, version of it, like a, like, there's an Electivire perspective, or there's, like, an Electivire, like, of these cards. I don't know, but I, this Mag Mortar, it, it's, a, it's cool. Um, and then the Latias, which I actually pulled from a more recent uh, set, too. Nice little Latias there. I don't know if there's a Latios, but there's Latias. I think I looked, and it, there wasn't really a Latios, but nice. I, and I do like Latias with the Latios, so... Nice little art there. Duskull. Um, it's a little bit more rare, I think, to pull than some of the other ones since it's, it took me quite a while to pull one of these, but I got the Duskull. And then back to Confei. So that's all like the alt arts. And I went through that kind of quickly just because, um, well, quite a few of them. And also this video is almost 30 minutes long. So now the last what I have is the full art cards, which I don't have as many. There's not as many. and But though there aren't as many, there's not too many full art uh, trainer cards in the set. But um, there is still two that I'm looking for for the physical, and I don't know. I don't know. If, I may have to like find another way to buy cards or something because I, uh, I have, I, uh, I want those two cards, and I don't want to order off Amazon because I'm afraid cards are going to get stolen. So, and my apparently my SD card is being delayed. So, I mean. If they're, I mean, if they're going to steal my SD card, I mean, it was like 15 bucks. Like, come on. I mean, probably, I could probably go to, like, Walmart or Target or something and pick one up in, like, the gaming section or, like, the electronics section, uh, like, real quick instead of ordering it. But I think ordering it would be easier. Anyway, I have a Volo uh, Full Art. It's not Cynthia, but it's uh, Cynthia's ancestor. But still, nice Volo. I got Professor's Research with Professor Rowan. Um, I guess there's like a lot of where it's called Professor's Research, but it's like the different, uh, it's the different, uh, like, but it's the different, like, professors. Um, I'm assuming they use Professor Rowan because they're doing a lot of, like, Sinnoh stuff for this one. Since they're doing, like, I mean, a lot of the, especially since a lot of the trainers are, like, friends in Hisui. And then, like, like, Adam and Irida from Legends Arceus. And then they have, like, a Cynthia card. And then they have Gardenia, who is from Sinnoh. And they have a Friends in Sinnoh, like regular, like regular card, and then a full art where it's like uh, Lucas and Don with um, Volk with a Volkner and Cynthia. So they're doing it. So they're doing it. They're it's got a pretty big Sinnoh theme. So they're like, yep, we're gonna use the Sinnoh, the Sinnoh professor for Professor's research. And the the centering of this card is a little bit off, or quite a bit off actually. You can see a lot more on this on this side. Then I got Alicia Sparkle, nice Alicia there. I am not very lucky with centering, am I? <laughs> you can see a lot on on this side, can't you? I do like Alicia though. Alicia, Alicia is cool. It's a pretty card too. Then here's the Gardena's Vigor. I did pull this. Uh, bit set off in centering. See, there's more on this side. Nice, nice, nice Gardenia though. And I did say that this was uh, one of the cards that kind of caught my eye, and I did want it. And then I also have Iridum, where it's a. Uh, 
whenever you have like the Iridan adamant cards, it's uh, them uh, with their with all the people on their like on their team, uh, on their like on their um, in their clan or whatever. Their um, I, yeah, I guess it's, I guess it's their clan because they they call it the Diamond and Pearl Clan, uh, depending with, like with like Irida is in the Pearl Clan, uh, Adamant is in the Diamond Clan. So, but I pulled the Irida. I do have an Adamant card, but it's not from Crown Zenith, and it's not the one where it's all of his uh, team. Which I did like the Diamond Clan more when I played through um, Legends Arceus, because I don't know Irida just never like I didn't care too much for Irida. I just didn't care, and also she was a I don't know, she kind of rubbed me the wrong way in the beginning. I mean, she did change kind of in the, in the end to, like, kind of vouch for you, but, like, in Legends of Arceus, but, like, I don't know. Her, her attitude in the beginning just kind of threw me off, and Adamin was, like, I don't know. I, I, liked the, I liked the look of him with the, the blue and stuff and his outfit. I just, I don't know. It drew me more to Adamin than it did Irida, so. I don't know, Irida, you kind of you screwed yourself at the beginning. I mean, you brought yourself at the back in the end, but I don't know, I still picked Adamin, so. And um, that's all my full art trainers. So uh, I have a lot and a lot of the like rares from Crown Zenith. I don't have all of them. There's still quite a bit I don't have, but I have a lot. I have. I mean, pretty sure it says at the bottom uh, there's there's 159, but I don't think that's rares. As like that is that is how many cards are in the set. Um, I don't know exactly how many how many of those cards are rares compared to like. Also, another thing is I don't have any of the gold cards. Well, since this is coming up after pretty much all the other videos I've uploaded, I did pull a gold card on a. I did pull a gold card from Crown Zenith on one of my videos. I on the online. Um, I don't remember. I think I've up. I think I've already uploaded it, but I pulled it. So I, I do have a gold card from Crown Zenith. It's just in the online version. Again. The card I'm looking for from the in the online version. Of course, can't pull it physically. And also, I actually have a shiny Charizard, uh, like, what is it? It's a, uh, a um, V Max. A shiny Charizard V Max from uh, Champion's Path. I pulled that one in the online. Of course, I can't pull it physically and stuff, but I can pull it in the online. So, anyway, I have a lot from Crown Zenith. Um, and I have, like, duplicates from those, so, like, but hopefully I can still get more packs, and I can still open more, and I can look at the ones I want. All right. I mean, that's all I wanted to do for this video, and it took me over 30 minutes to show you all the cards and kind of show them to you, show them off, like, so I had quite a bit. If I even, if I had more, it'd probably take me even longer. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Um, if you want, I mean, if you've, if you've, actually watched up to this point you didn't just watch the beginning and go away but if you actually watched up to this point and you like my videos and stuff and you want to see more from me uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button and um i mean if you watch the videos all the way through thank you so much because i need that i mean that's about it i will see you guys in the next video goodbye